today on Blind Date. Are you gonna do something funny? I would love to do stand up for you if I could. This funny man's taking the Ben Stein challenge. <laughs> We're into the ocean, you ready? I'm not going in the ocean. But will the laughs get him some love? I'm not really a crazy bastard. Though. Yes, you are. Plus, yeah, it's, a, it's very relaxing for me to give a massage. She can't wait to get her hands on him. We can go back to my place and I can give you a little taste of what I do. It all begins now. Oh, God almighty. On Blind Date. <laughs> Greetings, boys and girls. Roger Lodge here once again, bringing you all the blind date action you can handle. So just relax, kick back, and enjoy the show, won't you? And today we'll start with Diana and her date, Kelly. Now, Diana's a massage therapist who's looking for an attentive guy who will take care of her. Kelly likes to spend a lot of his time at the beach, and he prefers a woman with a mind of her own. I like girls that are very, like, talkative and, like, that basically have their own opinions of, of things. I like guys that really put all their attention into me. Yeah, I am a very sexual person. When I tell a guy that I do massage, it's like, really, what do you do? Tell me about it, you know? You gotta be upfront with that other person. I'm gonna get a boyfriend because I give really good massages. A turn on, a big one for me is uh, when a girl's got a lot of self-confidence. And if she happens to give a great massage, so much the better. Good luck, guys. How's it going? Good, Diana. Kyle. What was it, Kyle? Kelly. Kelly, yeah. nice to meet you. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's All go. Right. So do you, uh, do you date a lot? Um, I actually just um, ended like a 14 month long relationship with someone. It just didn't work out, but you know, so I'm just trying to, I, I don't know, like I just like to have friends. I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I think now that it's over, I just really want to focus on like getting my job going. And you like LA? I do like LA. People yeah. are a little crazy out here. You know, the, yeah. you know, I met some really cool people, so it's been awesome. Yeah, I've been in Huntington my whole life, and but I come up here like my party, like with my friends. What do you do out in Huntington? Um, working wise, I'm a I work in a childcare. Oh, that's cool. With kids, yeah. Oh, did you I'm, go to school? I'm or? going to school right now. Yeah. Are you going to school? Um, I just well, I went to school in November um, for massage therapy. I'm a massage therapist. Oh, sweet. because I could like work for myself now yeah. and make my own hours and just kind of not worry about having to report to someone every day or something, you know? Hi. Hi. Hello, Diana. It's Hi. good to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you're Kelly. Yeah, Hi, I'm Kelly. Kelly. Hi. She's a wonderful horse to yeah. learn massage on. She's a wonderful horse to yeah. learn massage on. She loves everything. She loves light touches. She loves deep touches. I didn't know they did massages on animals. That's so interesting. Any yeah. living thing is going to feel better and less grumpy if they're not stiff and sore. <laughs> so. Does that feel good? It's cool. So how long have you been doing the massage um, I went to school in November, but I just started um, doing it on a freelance base since about four months ago. It's been going really well. Nice, it's been nice. awesome. Got some really interesting people. Really, yeah? Yeah. I try to screen them through like email as much as I can because I'm going to strangers' homes, so it gets oh, a little yeah, scary sometimes. Oh, yeah, you go to the house, huh? Does it feel good? Have you ever cheated or been cheated on? Um, yeah, I just not been cheated on twice, actually. Well, the girl told me that she liked my best friend, so I kind of, after that, I knew it was over. Right. And, um... Well... I'm very honest and very open. Yeah. You know, if... Tell, 
like I'd rather that person tell me to my face and I'll sob and cry, but it's better than yeah. me not knowing and be suspicious because that makes you go a little crazy sometimes, yeah. you know. So, but I've never done that. I'm all about like if I'm with that person, I'm with that person. So, um, when you're giving like massages to people, is there anything like? that you think about, or like, do you just talk to them about like what's going on? I will not say anything unless yeah. they start to talk to me first. Just kind of don't think about anything that I've been doing that day. Just think about yeah. the body and how I'm going to help that person. And you know, plus I'm playing like really soothing music, so I kind of get lost in that a little bit. You oh, that's know, cool. so yeah, it's a, it's a very relaxing for me to give a massage. That's good. So, um, how do you think I'm doing so far? I think you're doing good. Really? It's cool because, like, I can tell that you're, like, a real respectful person. And, you know, I, some dates that I go on, the guy is just really, like, aggressive in a way. It's, like, watching mm -hmm. you, you know, and stuff. Right? So, like, they don't even know you. Kind of, I think you're really respectful and you're easy to talk to. Well, nice. You know? So, I'm having fun. So, what do you feel like doing? Well, I we can go back to my place and I can give you a little taste of what I do. Oh, really? Massage. Yeah. I think, I think that'd be nice. Cool. Yeah, congratulations, you're the first client I've ever brought back to my apartment. <laughs> Let me help you. There you go. Okay, get on your stomach. Okay, since you're a little nervous. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. A lot of tension. Feels good. I can tell you like this. <laughs> So how was that? That was nice, so nice. Good. Great. All right, hold on, this is okay. Okay, I want you to take your time getting up. Let me give you your time. All right. Thank you for being my, my client tonight, too. Hey, I hope I was one of your favorite ones, so. Yes, you were. It was a great time. Thanks. Well, thank you. Yeah. Good night. Good night. I'll see you again. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Night. I suspect if your date ends with you lying naked on a massage table back at her crib, things are looking pretty good. But we'll confirm my suspicions next. Up next. Are you going to do something funny? I would love to do stand-up for you if I could. Can Funny Boy impress his date and Ben Stein? Only in the United States of America can you have so much food that you can eat just for fun. Yay! That's next. What are you doing? We can go back to my place and I can give you a little taste of what I do. Oh, really? Massage. Yeah. Uh, I, think yeah. I think that'd be nice. You know, any date that ends up with hot oil usually doesn't suck. And I'm thinking Kelly may be on his way to a few more rub downs. Kelly was exactly what I was looking for. Someone who has that, that edgy look, but at the same time, very respectful. I was really nervous before I first met Diana tonight, but uh, once I saw her, and then uh, I thought she was really good looking. He had like the perfect build for, you know, what attracts me. We kind of connected because I knew that she would trust me to invite me over. I would like to have a second date with Kelly. It'll be a second date with Diana because I like the way things went tonight. Yeah, no kidding, pal. You had pretty much the perfect night. All right, for our next round of Romance Roulette, we're going to set Tiffany up with Brett. Now, Tiffany's a student who says she's always looking for an adventure. Well, that's Brett. He wants to have a career in comedy and says he has the most important qualification. I'm just full on goof, which I love. It's, it's hard to not smile at a true goofball. I love arms and I love eyes on a guy. I'd say I'd look more like a Greek god. I'm super picky about guys and 
It takes a lot to impress me. I might be accused of being a little too charming, and uh, I'm pretty sure I can make just about any girl happy. Well, we're pretty sure Tiffany's a girl. Make her happy, pal. Actually, a friend's shirt. Ah, the bar. Does that matter to you at all? Actually, I was gonna wear that shirt. I'm glad I did. That would have been offered. Yeah. Good <laughs> thing you're driving. Why yeah. are oh, you not a good driver? You're actually in for a uh, special treat. I don't know if you know this. Oh no. I do stand up in LA. Really? Yeah. And, uh, I think you're actually gonna get to see me do some today. Are you see? <laughs> I hope you like it. That's gonna be really cool. You're actually witnessing a momentous occasion. I, uh, I just packed my car up with almost everything I have. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just hitting the road. <clears throat> really? I'll probably be in LA for a while, do a bunch of stand up. But I auditioned for the San Francisco International Comedy Competition. Oh, wow. Here we are. It's showtime. Hi. How are you? Hello. I'm Ben Stein. How are you? I'm Tiffany. How are you, Tiffany? <laughs> nice ben to meet Stein. you. I'm not really this much taller than you. Oh, wow. How, How are you, Ben? How are you, Brent? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you going to do something funny? I would love to do stand-up for you if I could. Hey, Only in the United States of America can you have so much food that you can eat just for fun. <laughs> Yay! Hey, the nature's bounty. My mom will be like, you know, Brett, a watched pot never boils. Yes, it does, Mom. In fact, that's exactly how I know when the water is boiling, by watching it. So no, I won't have one. They always have people like working out. Like, are they supposed to be drinking the whole time? trick that I want to show you. No, I don't want to see any tricks. It's nice. Are you going to eat that? Please don't do that. I beg you not to eat that. Please don't eat that. Please don't eat that. Please don't eat that. Please don't eat that. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Oh, God. Please don't eat that. Did you really eat that? Oh, God almighty. No, no. Ben, you do it. I'll do it if you do it. I would not do that for $100,000. No, will you do it? Yeah, see it. He's going to do it. Five, How did I get four, three, two, one. <laughs> Good job. I thought you wouldn't Bones do it. Bones were jabbing into my... All right, give me a kiss, Rick. You know how much this suit cost me? How much? $3. Wow. Good suit. That's Salvation surprise. Armani. Okay, right. so if you could pick your perfect date, what would it be like? I don't know. It's too like, like this is great, but like I'm too, I'm too like antsy. I need to like be running around or something. Like, the well, slip and slide. Down a couple <laughs> of those, and you'll be the slip relaxing and slide. In no if we do the slip and slide, that would be honestly be like my favorite date in the world. I think we're doing pretty well here. What do you think? Yeah. I'm having a good time. Yeah, I guess I you do definitely more crazy than I am. Well, more crazy it's in the not sense like, of. That's not anything negative, though. No, it's not. <sighs> okay, all right, I can deal with that. Um, I think you'd be down for a slip and slide later. Maybe that's just. Like, I think so. Maybe. If you do this, then this will be the the date that I imagined. I hang out with Ben Stein, I do some stand-up, I hang out with a beautiful girl, 
and then I go on the beach and run around like a crazy bastard with her. <laughs> that is I'm not really a crazy bastard, though. Yes, you are. Come on. I'm really not. You will laugh. You but why other, does it always have to be about. something like crazy or wild? And that's what, just when you see people's true, like, true sides. Like, if you're going to keep it very mild, very, like, medium level, anyone can do that. Anyone in the world can pull off, like, dinner in a movie. If not, you've totally, I mean, now it's totally Okay, you go that. first. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna hit this. <laughs> 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 oh, God! <laughs> There's some gusto, you ready? Yeah. That was a good one, though. You're all sandy. No, it's all right. <laughs> okay. We did it once. Run into the ocean, you ready? I'm not going into the ocean. <laughs> I'll give you a million dollars. I don't want to. Thank you so much. Bye. Good night. I'm gonna call you, I'm sorry. Okay. It's gonna happen. Yeah. All right. Give me a call. Good night, Tiffany. Okay, good night, Fred. Well, at least Brett didn't hold anything back, huh? I think he pretty much showed Tiffany everything, which may have been the problem. And we'll find out where old Brett went wrong next. Coming up. Ask her all about herself. Ben Stein's dating tips. Don't try to bombard her into subservience. The cutting room floor is coming up. Trust me, she would have killed for dinner in a movie. But unfortunately, that isn't funny boy style. Brett was more into himself and trying to be a comedian than actually into me and asking me questions about myself. Honestly, we were probably fairly attracted to each other. She probably she probably dug me a little bit. Uh, you know, as the nuttiness continued, the attractiveness starts to die away a little bit. I think Brett would have went on the rest of the day with Ben Stein than me, because he was definitely more excited than meeting him than he was into me. Tonight, I was pretty wacky, and it's only going to get wackier. I don't think Tiffany can deal with that. I don't want a second date with Brett, because he's way too immature and silly for me. If Tiffany doesn't want a second date, she's probably going to regret it in the future, because I'm going to be pretty big. I'm Ben Stein, and I watch and love Blind Date. Wow, Ben Stein's everywhere. Love that guy. And coming up, he's got a few things to say about Brett and Tiffany's date. And he'll share his expert analysis next. You are the guy. Get off my stage. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, we just saw Ben Stein spend some quality time with Tiffany and Brett. And since Ben is known for his observations, we thought it'd be fun to get his take on Brett and Tiffany's time together. Take it away, Benjamin. I would say there could be a second romantic date, but the odds of their having a relationship that lasts more than a couple of months are nil. I'd say, I mean, you know, people like to have sex, so uh, there could be a romantic, if that's what you mean by romantic date, there could be a romantic date tomorrow. If I had to give Brad advice about Tiffany, it would be ask her all about herself, draw her out of herself, don't try to bombard her into subservience and into worshiping him by his comedy and his wit and all the wild things he's done that she'll never do. But telling her that he's wild and crazy and drunk every day is probably the worst possible way to win her over. Roger, Lodger, you look fantastic for 53. Wait a minute. Did, did he just call me Roger Lodger? Thanks a lot, pal. All right, that'll do it for today's show. Evidently, I'm Roger Lodger, and I'll see you tomorrow.